Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn Chapter 5 The River Valley Civilization, Egyptian Civilization. So, first let's start with introduction. The Egyptian civilization is one of the earliest known civilization of the world. It is estimated that it flourished during the time period of about 3100 BCE and 1000 BCE. Before the rise of the first civilization, ancient Egypt was divided into two separate kingdoms comprising Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. The unification of the upper and lower regions of Egypt in around 3000 BC led to the beginning of the Egyptian civilization. First we come to the sources. We came to know about the Egyptian civilization from archaeological excavations, inscriptions and official documents. Now we come to about the civilization. The Egyptian civilization has been broadly categorized into three different parts which are Old Kingdom or Early Bronze Age, Middle Kingdom or Middle Bronze Age and New Kingdom or Late Bronze Age. Now we come to periods or period of decline. Its period of decline started about 1000 BCE with the collapse of the New Kingdom and ended with the death of Cleopatra VII in about 30 BC. Why is Egypt said to be blessed by nature? Nature has endowed Egypt with some special features which helped it to flourish. It is surrounded by natural barriers from all the sides. The Mediterranean Sea is in the north, while Red Sea is in the east. In the south and west, most of the lands are covered by deserts. All these things acted as a natural barrier and protected Egypt from foreign invaders. So, this is why Egypt is said to be blessed by nature. Now we come to why is Egypt known as the gift of river Nile. Initially, Egyptians looked with wonder at the flood water of river Nile, but later on they realized that it was the alluvium brought by the flood water during the months of July to November, which was actually responsible for the enrichment of the soil. As Egyptian received virtually no rainfall during the year, the Egyptian used to collect the flood water. The Egyptian stored the extra water in dams and also built canals for its distribution. The river Nile also provided transportation and building materials and many more things. Now what are pyramids? Pyramids are symbols of power of the pharaohs of the ancient Egypt. They were tombs built by the Egyptians or pharaohs for themselves. The Egyptians used to preserve the dead bodies of the kings and queens in the pyramid in a very special way. At first these dead bodies were soaked in soda water and perfumed with raisins, spices and honeys. After this the dead bodies were wrapped with white cloth and placed in a calf painted coffin. The dead bodies preserved in this way were called mummy. Now here is a picture of Great Pyramid of Giza. It was built by Pharaoh Khufu and here is a picture of mummy. So now we will study about the main features of Egyptian civilization. First we have political and social life. In political and social life we will study about administration, society, family life, position of women, amusement, dress, houses and food. So first let's start with administration. Ancient Egypt was divided into several provinces which were called Nomes and the government officials who governed these provinces were called Nomads. Now we come to society. Egyptian society was structured like a pyramid. 
The rich class mainly comprised of the pharaohs, high priests, landlords, government officials, and nobles. Middle class comprised of the merchants, manufacturers, artisans, and learned men. And low class or poor class consisted of slaves, laborers, lower clergy, farmers, and peasants. Now we come to family life. The family of the Egyptian society were mainly nuclear families. Families in ancient Egyptian society were in close knit or bound together in strong relationship. Husband, wife, children shared a close relationship with each other. Now we come to position of women. Women held equal position as men by law. They were treated with respect and enjoyed property rights like men. It was only during the time of the new kingdom that queens became important. Queen Hatshepsut was crowned as the pharaoh during this time and Queen Nefertiti ruled with her husband Akhenaton. Now here are the pictures of Queen Hatshepsut and Queen Nefertiti. Now we come to amusement. Physical sports such as Swimming, hunting, fishing, sailing were the main recreational activities enjoyed by the wealthy people. Singing, dancing, playing instruments like harp, flute, drum, wrestling and participating in religious activities were the popular forms of amusement. People also played board games like Senate, 20 squares, backgammon and chess for entertainment. Here are some of the pictures of the amusement they had like harp, senate, twin squares and backgammon. Now we are going to study about the dress pattern of the Egypt, ancient Egyptian. Ancient Egyptian wore clothes made of flax which were woven into fine linen garments. Men wore loin clothes which was a kind of short skirt like garments with a sash at the waist while women wore a form of wrap-around gowns with close-fitting sheets and shoulder straps. They adorned themselves with ornaments and necklaces, earrings, bangles and strings of beads, armlets and bracelets. Here are the pictures of the dress pattern of men and women of the ancient civilization. Now we are going to study about the houses or the structure of houses of the ancient Egyptian. Ancient Egyptian used papyrus reed and mud from the river to build their dwellings or houses. They made their houses by using sun-baked bricks. Some large houses were built of stone but most of the houses of both rich and poor were built of bricks. Now we come to food or what kind of food they ate. Wheat, millets, barley were the main crops. Bread was made from wheat and barley. Fruits like dates, grapes, apple, peach, figs, green vegetables, etc. were favorites. Wine was a popular drink. Now we come to religion. Egyptian worshipped many gods associated with nature and natural forces and phenomena. The most important god were the sun god called Amun Re and god of Nile called Osiris and god of death. Sun god was the king of all gods and signified the source of warmth and life. Animals such as jackal, bull and crocodiles were also worshipped. Onubis was the god of mummification represented by a jackal. Now here are the pictures of Egyptian gods like Amun Re, Onubis and god Osiris. Now we come to occupation. The main occupation of the Egyptian people were farming but people also practiced domestication of animals, art and craft, and trade and commerce. So first let's start with farming. Agriculture was the basis of ancient Egyptian economy. Egypt had fertile soil rich in alluvium brought by the flood water of river Nile. 
A wide variety of food crops were grown such as rice, barley, wheat, etc. Vegetables like beans, peas, onion, turnips, cucumber, garlic, etc. were also grown. Now we come to domestication of animals. Like other river valley people, ancient Egyptian also domesticated many animals like cows, goats, asses, geese, camels, ducks, goats, sheep, pigs, etc. Now we come to art and craft. Skilled people like potters, sculptors, masons, jewelry makers, carpenters, weavers, and blacksmiths formed an important part of the ancient Egyptian society. Weavers wove fine linen clothes by using cotton or flax yarns. Potters made beautiful pottery. Carpenters made beautiful engraved furniture inlaid in ivory and precious stones. Many gold articles like gold marks such as death marks were made for King Tutankhamun. Now we come to trade and commerce. The Egyptians were the masters of trade in ancient world. The barter system was used by them to carry trade. Gold, ivory, copper, olive oil, wood, cedar were the main articles of import. While linen, wheat, glass were cotton, flax, jewelry and furniture were the main articles of export. Now we come to achievements or achievements of ancient Egyptians in the field of language, invention of writing, art and art, architecture and science and mathematics. So first is language. Egyptian language was one of the earliest language to be written. Early Egyptian scripts first appeared on stones and pottery around 3000 BCE. Now we come to invention of writing. For effective governance, written records were needed. This led to the invention of writing in ancient Egypt. Egyptians used to inscribe words on rocks or soft clay, which was baked later on. Egyptian scripts were called hieroglyphics, which means sacred writing. In this script, pictures were used to represent words and symbols and expressed ideas. Here is a picture of hieroglyphics on walls. Now we come to art and architecture. Egyptians were great builders. They built wonderful buildings in their own way. They built big dams, grand and beautiful palaces, big temples and huge pyramids. Egyptian pyramids are the best specimens of art and architecture. The temple of Karnak is the famous among all. Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the seven wonders of the world. It was built by Pharaoh Khufu. Statues of Pharaohs are also one of the best examples of architecture. One of these statues is called Sphinx. Sphinx is a mythological figure with a body of a lion and head of a man. Now we come to achievements in the field of science and mathematics. So the ancient Egyptian achieved a lot in the field of science and mathematics. So first is medicine. Ancient Egyptian people were well versed in human anatomical studies. They practiced surgery and diagnosed a large number of diseases and prescribed drugs for them. Art of mummification were introduced by them. Astronomy. They studied movement of heavenly bodies and predicted natural phenomena on the basis of that with the help of instruments developed by them. They were the first to develop zodiac. Knowledge of astronomy guided the Egyptian farmers through the cycles of season. They devised the solar calendar, invented water clock to measure and read time at night. Now, achievements in the field of mathematics. The ancient Egyptians were the first civilization to develop quadratic equations. Egyptians had developed a highly advanced system of mathematics in ancient times. It was mainly devised for the utilizing their knowledge in constructing 
pyramids and other monuments during the land survey and collection of revenues. Now achievements in the field of calendar and geometry. Egyptians were the first to develop the solar calendar which was based on the sun year. It consisted of 365 days and 12 months. Each of the month had 30 days and therefore the remaining last 5 days of the year were spent in feasting and merrymaking. The year was divided into 3 seasons, winter, summer and spring as there were no rainy season in Egypt. Due to the annual flood, the Egyptians needed simple and accurate method of measuring land. So they devised the method of making angles, circles, triangles, rectangles and calculating areas. They developed the science of space measurement and geometry. Now we come to the decline of the Egyptian civilization. By 1000 BCE, the great Egyptian civilization began to decline. The main reason of the decline of Egyptian civilization was internal revolts and foreign invasions which weakened and ultimately destroyed the empire. The second reason was loss of military power after the collapse of the new kingdom in around 5th century BC, the world's most advanced and ancient civilization ended. So that's all about the Egyptian civilization or the river valley civilization. Thank you children. Have a nice day.